when you say you had a little help, a little yeah. enhancement, have you had, like, what work have you had done? Or have you had work done? That is a good question. <laughs> Because mm. I'm, I'm intrigued. I don't have a BBL. Okay. I have... I've never said this before, by the way. Oh, exclusive. Um, okay. So I have... From the moment Drea Michelle hit the scene, she's proven herself to be a woman who knows exactly what she wants and goes after it. From reality television to business ventures and body goals. Drea has always been unapologetic about maximizing her opportunities and now she's stepping into the shade room and sharing her journey, sipping tequila and spilling all the tea. What's up roommates? It's your girl Tempe and today we have Miss Drea Michelle stepping into the shade room. Hey girl. Hey. How are you? I'm amazing. Okay, well it's good to see you. Stepping into the shade room today, so we're gonna do a little tequila tasting. Okay, so what do you typically drink? Like, what's typically your, your drink of choice? Um, I love Reposado neat, no chill. I like it straight out the bottle, Ooh. room temp, Ooh. just in a glass, in and a I glass. like to sip it slowly. Okay, what ha like what's your vibe when you like drink a lot of tequila? I mean, I definitely feel confident. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in a great mood. I feel sexy. Yes. Um, and yeah, I just feel like, you know, more social. Yeah. Okay. So today we're going to play, well, we're going to do a tasting throughout our conversation. Um, so Max over there is going to come and, you know, give us a little bit of different shots to taste or okay. tequila to taste. So you can shot it, you can sip it, whatever you want. Okay. What are and you going to do? Shot it or sip it? I'm going to shot it. Oh. And maybe I'll do both. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> are All you right. a shotter or a sipper? I'm, I'm a, when I'm given a shot, I'm a half. And then and a half. A happy? Yeah. Why? Unless I'm at the point, when I'm at the point, I can do the whole thing. Okay. And that's when I probably shouldn't anymore. <laughs> but yeah, at first I have like a little anxiety about the okay. full shot. I'm okay. just not good at it. I'm going to drink it all. Right. In one minute. But okay. I'm going to do two. And then 30 I feel seconds like that makes later. It harder. Like, that's to what break my best friend says. Like, She's, it's easier to just throw it back. You're preaching to the choir. <laughs> I know. It's just, it's just my style. Yeah. I'm a half. Half, half, girl. Half, half. Okay, so um, he's going to bring out the tequilas, and then we are going to write down our thoughts, what we think is like the most expensive and the least expensive. So okay. as he brings them out, take your notes. Okay. Write it down. All right. And whoever wins, meaning gets, you know, the closest to the most expensive of the other, gets to ask the other a hot tea question. Okay. Okay. All right. So I get to ask you a hot tea question if you lose. Yep. And I get to ask you one if you lose. I really like this game. Okay. May the best woman win. <laughs> oh, Lord I know Jesus. my tequilas. Oh, I, I don't. I'm just going to say that. I just be drinking them. You should be afraid right now. Oh, Lord. I might, I might be. Well, so cheers. Cheers. Let's get started. Game on. Game on. All right, how's it going? Hey! All right, we got a first tequila of the night for you. Okay, so tell us a little bit about like the tasting and what we're doing today. Yeah, so we're going to be tasting through about five different tequilas. Okay. Uh, I don't mean to uh, switch it up too much on you, but I'm trying to throw you for a little bit of a loop because you're going to be guessing which is the most expensive of the lot of the You're end. not supposed to tell us that, right? I'm not. Okay. okay. But if you want to tell me on the side. <laughs> I'm going to tell you which one's which? Mm. Okay, if you no tell problem. her, I'll invite you. Right? I'll just let into your DMs, no problem, I got you. So this is a uh, Reposado tequila you can only get here at Mirate. I'm not going to tell you too much about it, but it's okay. made by a legendary tequila family. So okay. Hope you enjoy. All right. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Well, cheers. Are okay, you wait. shotting it or something? Wait, wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. Taking a shot out of like a not clear glass is a little different. Okay. He, like it's kind of hard to tell how much is in there. <laughs> so does that make you more confident or less confident? I'm a little nervous. Okay. I'm not going to lie. These are like clay. And They're I, so cute. These are like authentic tequila. Yeah. Okay, let's sip it then. Uh, cheers. cheers. You have to look in the eye, girl. Okay, cheers. Oh, that was smooth. Ooh. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to remember this, mm -hmm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm competitive, just so you know. I feel like 
I'm gonna win. You've had an amazing rebrand. You went from IG model to like entrepreneur, businesswoman, actress, all the things. So like, what does it mean to be a hustler to you? <sighs> okay, so I left my hometown, right? Which is Reading, Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, it's right outside of Philly. So I left with a plan of leaving and succeeding. I saw so many people say like they were leaving, they were moving to these other places, and then they ended up coming back. I was determined to not come back. Not that there's anything wrong with where I'm from, but it's just I wanted to make it in L.A. So yeah. I went out there. I had a plan. I had a great support system. My family, my mom supported me. So, like, okay, so because you have a lot of businesses. You have Mid Swim, yes. of course. I don't know if you're still doing Fine Ass Girls, but, like, that was, like, a thing. Fine Ass Girls is a thing. I sold Fine Ass Girls. Yes. So that was a, that was a nice little mm, yeah, wait, for so me. Yeah, so you're not doing it anymore? You, I mean, someone else owns it now. Oh, yeah. oh I didn't yeah. know that. You yeah. sold it. Yeah, someone oh. else owns it, so that's great. Wait, wait what made you want to sell it? Um, I mean, the offer was great, and yeah. I feel like um, with just who I was becoming, I kind of outgrew the brand a little bit, mm -hmm. but I still wanted the brand to live on yeah just yeah. without me you know okay. like maybe a younger vibe but, yeah you know um, and you have do you still have your nail spa you have like a nail shop no and okay. I oh my gosh that that project that was a gift and a curse it was great to try it I'm so proud of myself for doing it yeah um, the pandemic really really hit oh. us hard um, I had rent to pay and my staff wasn't allowed to work and so we had to shut down I learned so so much about yeah. the nail industry. I mean, obviously, I'm a nail yeah, girl. Let me see your nails. They're long. They've been long since I'm 12 years old. Wow. So I'm a nail girl. So it was important to me to have a nail shop. And yeah, I I can I'm happy with saying I tried something. Right. Like right, I right. went out on a limb. I invested something something I was passionate about. And yeah, you know. Yeah. But okay. But something, you live and you learn. Something that you live in, learning and earning from is Mint Swim. Yes. Okay. Mint Swim is still that girl. That is my girl. That in is that, that girl. girl. <laughs> that is my baby. She's a grown woman now. I feel like. Yes. Um, yeah. I'm so grateful for Mint Swim. I mean, that's what keeps the lights on, and it's and my baby. It, I have fun every day. Yeah. How does it feel? Because I was looking at the page, and it's like. It's really just you. Like, you sell your own brand. Like, you don't need to, you know, get models. Or Even though you do, a lot of it is just, like, you in, like, a cute little bathing suit. And it's, like, it sells itself. That is so unintentional. It's yeah. not necessarily supposed to just be on me. I would love for someone else to take on the responsibility of being the face of the brand. Yeah. Even if it's multiple faces, it's just, it's really hard. Um, the customer is really into which you. styles they think are my favorites. And I was yeah. like, well, I made them. They're all my favorites, right. They're all my babies. But um, it's hard to get around if I don't personally push it, it doesn't go. So yeah. we experiment, we use a lot of different models, we use a lot of different influencers. We've even, um, we're even in the process of experimenting, doing collaborations with influencers, Ooh. so. Ooh, like who? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell you that. But when you see it, you'll yeah. be like, ooh, it's it's okay. giving it's giving natural body, brown girl, realness. Okay. Like it's it's a vibe. Okay, well speaking of natural body, I need to know what is the workout routine and what do you eat every day? Because the body is body. Okay? okay, like I was on uh, I was eating my fries, looking at men's swim, and I was like, damn. I don't know if this is going to be me, but I'm going to have to ask her, how How do we get there? Okay, well, first of all, thank you. Um, I work out uh -huh. minimum four times a week. My diet is mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie to you. Then how do you keep us all together? I work out a lot. Yeah. And I, you know, through, through my adulthood, I have made alterations to things. Okay. Um... And yeah, I've had a little help, a little boost here and there. Okay. Um, but for the most part, I got to keep it together um, because, like I said, my diet, I'm queen of crash dieting, which is terrible. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I got a trip coming up. Let me do this extreme diet for 10 days and get slim. And, and I'll do that, you know. Um, and, and if that doesn't work and I need a little extra, you know, yeah. I might go see a surgeon. Okay. Okay, so... Know. So when you say you had a little help, a little yeah. enhancement, have you had, like what work have you had done? 
or have you had work done? That is a good question. Because <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay. There's a lot of misconception about okay. the work that I have had done. Okay, because people think you have a BBL. Yeah. Okay. I don't. Okay. I don't have a BBL. Okay. I have... I've never said this before, by the way. Oh, exclusive! Um, okay. So I have... I'm on my second boob job. Okay. Why a second one? Because um, the first ones were way too big and they were old. They were 10 years old. I got them removed. I got a lift. Um, and then I got a smaller implant okay. in. Um, and then as far as the BBL goes, I've never gotten a BBL. Okay. As far as the general public knowing who I am, I came out on a TV show in 2011. Mm -hmm. Okay. In 2013, 10 years ago, I got butt shot. Okay. One round the most mildest thing you could get uh -huh. because it was set up to get multiple. It was like, you do a little bit and then you can get more and more okay. and more. You can stack it up, whatever. The illegal kind, the ghetto kind, the, you know. Were you scared? No. Why illegal? I, I mean. You could afford it, no? I don't think it was about if the price. I think it was just about. What they would give you. Who can who can do it and who okay. had the track record of being able to do it. Okay. And I trusted the person who did it. Uh -huh. And um, Were you happy with the results? I was very happy okay. with it. The world is happy with the results. <laughs> the world can't still can't figure it out. Okay. Um, but I've only touched my butt one time. Okay. Very mild. Since then, I've had a kid. Since then, I've gained 12 pounds naturally. So everything is just naturally filling in okay. um, since people have seen me on TV. But I've only touched my actual butt one time. Okay. And no, it wasn't because I took fat from my stomach and put it into my butt. Fast forward to, you know, the last two years. The last two years, I was totally, totally, totally against lipo. Um, and then I was like, I'm going to yeah. try it. Okay, so you tried lipo. So I tried it. I went to the best in the business. Um, not gonna say his name because <laughs> cut the check because I paid in full and it was high. <laughs> um, but if you know, you know. Um, but I did get a little bit of lipo in my stomach. Okay. Um, happy with it, but then because I was so thin in the stomach, I had a little bit of sagging. So I went to another doctor, um, a great doctor. His name had been dropped on my page before because he did a little deal with me, which I appreciate. But I got a reverse tummy tuck okay. which is where instead of pulling your skin down towards your vagina they pull huh. it up underneath your boobs um, really really happy with that okay i was so thin and my skin was kind of baggy from removing all the fat mm. and you know just with age and i had two kids i just needed a little touch up so i did that so those were all my surgeries. I did not have a BBL. I did not like get and nothing on your face. You got a very pretty face. No, thank you. Everything is yeah. natural. Teeth. I got my teeth done yeah. um, eight years ago. They could be done again. So if anybody's watching this, <laughs> no, they look good. They could get. They look good. I could use a little touch up. But um, yeah, no, my face is natural. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's it. So yeah. you so you got that exclusive. That is amazing. Well, thank you for being honest about that because a lot of people are not honest about you know that kind of stuff these days. Um, well, they would like they they. I, I see when I'm posted on the page, people will be like, "Best BBL in the game," and it's like realistically I would love to be like oh yeah I got a BBL and like one person did all this but really it was a team of surgeons yeah. that I trusted and uh, over the years and also just me you know yeah. like I there's natural that I do to keep up with it right, um, right so right. no I don't have the best BBL in the game I don't right. I've had a series of things to improve on what I already am trying to improve on daily by yeah. working out and so would you get anything else? Are you looking to get anything else? I never point? say never. You never know. You yeah. know, if, if something gets the drooping or whatever, I'm, I'm here to, for picking it up. Yeah. Well, who, whoever is doing it is doing a great job. Thank you. Just, just want to put it out that you are doing a great ah, job. Thank you. <laughs>so uh we're moving into some blanco for a little bit okay uh, so i'll give you some clues and i know you're not normally blanco people but there's some very famous tecleros that always say <laughs> no we're the, not blanco uh, girls <laughs> well, we're the, not blanco girls wait i just got you yeah exactly <laughs> we're not blanco people we're not blanco people <laughs> uh this tequila is uh brand new to market 
Uh, it's not really available anywhere. We were actually hand selected to carry it. Wow. So you're not going to find this anywhere else really in California except a few select places. Wow. Uh, it's slightly higher in ABV. So most of kilos 40%. This is 42.5. So what does that mean? So it's going to get uh, us there. Uh, a little bit more so than okay. the last one. But, All uh, right. Enjoy. Uh, again, really, really special Blanco, 42.5%. And uh, not widely available. Thank right. you. Thank you. Cheers. All right, cheers. 42.5%. Mm. Not that I know of. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of mescally. Drea's over there writing notes like we're in school. Girl, because I, I, I gotta win. I fear that I may not have this in the bag like I thought I would. All right, well, you know, we were first introduced to you by a Basketball Wives. Do you still watch the show? No. No? You know, it's 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 weird. It's not even allowed to be played in anywhere that I'm at. Oh, really? The sound of it is traumatic for me. Really? Like it's triggering? Yeah. Why? I, I had to go to like therapy for that. Oh. Um, yeah. Really grateful for the experience. Yeah. And I learned a lot. And I'm so, so, so eternally thankful for like the platform that it's given me. But just like the way that I felt every day showing up to do that was so dark and so like scary for me every day. Why do you think that is? Like, what um, because I didn't know, I wasn't sure of the outcome. Like I would call my mom every single day and be like, oh my God, mom, I sat and I had lunch with them and they were so mean to me. They were saying this and that and pulling up my past and you know, yeah. saying random shit. And I, I don't know how it's gonna look when it comes out. You know, I didn't know what it was gonna look like when it aired. Okay. I thought I was gonna be like, not the bad guy, but just like the the least favorite. I thought how they collectively felt about me was going to be like the opinion of the world, the viewers. Yeah, the viewers loved you though. I had no idea that was going to happen. Yeah. I cried every day. Aww. Every oh, so single before day. it like aired. Yeah, because okay. it, it, it we, we taped it like probably like four or five months before it actually aired. Yeah. So I was just like doing it every day. I was going to work every day arguing with these women, these women, you know. <laughs> I was arguing with these women and I just was like, I don't understand it. Yeah. Like I have real girls that I went to high school with that don't like me because they have valid reasons. I don't understand why these women don't mm. like me. I don't even know y'all, right, you know? Right, right. Um, and so I didn't get it. It took me a couple years to get it. And then once I got it, got it, yeah. I was like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. So like when you did it and the public loved you, did that like help ease anything? It, it swayed me to do like, two other seasons yeah. but in the third fourth season that I did I was like yeah no like I don't care how much they love me I just can't do this anymore and I started to become conscious and I started to you know what happened I was somewhere and like this white woman came up to me and she was like hey I know who you are and she's like I watched that show. She's like whispering it. I watched that show. She's like, it's my late night guilty pleasure. Like, and she like tells her husband, she's like, come here. And she's like, that show I watch with those black ladies, she's on it. And I was just like, oh my God. They're like, like she's like closet watching this yeah. show. And like, this is probably how this woman thinks we all are as just black women. Like she right. probably is like, those black women are crazy. Right. They are rowdy. And, and I was just like, damn, like, I can't contribute to that no yeah. more. That stereotype. Like, right. I cannot do that. Speaking of, like, black women, so you're biracial, right? And in, in, like, the last couple seasons of the show, there was, like, a conversation about colorism. Like, people felt like there was colorism. So while you were on the show, did you feel like you witnessed that? You saw it? Do you feel like even off the show, you did see that happen in, like, the seasons that continued? Mm, like, colorism with who? Well, wait, first of all, you said I'm biracial. I am biracial, but I consider myself a black, a black woman. woman right. um, so yes, I am biracial. Um, Have you had any hardships with that in this industry, identifying as a black woman? Yeah, yeah. Shit ton. Okay. Shit ton. It's always been one way or the other. I'm not black enough for the black girls and I'm not white enough for the white girls. Um, but either way, I gotta stay true to myself. And right. If what I choose to represent doesn't 
accept me, then oh well, I just right. am who I am. Yes, I'm biracial, but I identify as a black woman. You know, like, that's just it. Like, it's, just, it's not really an argument or a discussion for me. Um, so that clears that up. And then um, colorism within the show, like, what do you mean? So, um, like, OG, I don't know if you watched that season or, or are familiar. Oh, this wasn't a season I was on? So not, well, I have no idea then. Okay. No, I did have you, no Did clue. you feel like you saw any kind of colorism on your seasons or no? No. Yeah. No. Okay. No. Who would you say are the starting five, all-star, like, basketball wives of all time, the top five? <laughs> like, what's your top five? All right. Me. Uh-huh. But not me first. I'm okay. not saying me first. No, Matter of fact, particular order. No, forget it. I'm going to start in the order. Okay. Jackie. Okay. Of all, so all seasons, all the girls. Jackie. Okay. Drea. Uh-huh. Evelyn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> Tammy. Okay. Evelyn. Okay. Drea. Uh-huh. Malaysia and Jennifer are the same kind of person to yeah. me, sort of, like just as far as the show goes. Uh -huh. Nothing personality-wise, morality-wise, just I feel like they're both a staple. Yeah. Period. I agree. I think they're both staples. I'd like to also throw in Royce Reed. She was oh. a little firecracker. Oh, yeah. She was good TV. Royce shook the table, for Roy sure. Royce shook the table. Royce shook, Roy shook that. <laughs> Uh, so are you um, still, you know, friends with any of the girls from the show? Um, In contact? Mm, Shawnee, Malaysia? Shawnee. Oh, okay. Shawnee. Yeah. I, I, I see Shawnee. When I see Shawnee, it's always all love. I'm forever grateful. Um, when I see Jackie, it's love. Um, I don't really see anyone else. Uh -huh. Are you guys Instagram friends? No. No? Angel. Angel's Angel, my girl. Yeah. Angel's my girl. Yeah. Eternally my girl, show no yeah. show. And that, you brought Angel on the yeah, show. Yeah, I brought Angel on the yeah. show, which I don't know if it was good or bad. She loves it, so, yeah. you know, good for her. But Angel, a pure, 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 pure so soul. Pure, yeah. I love her. She's forever yeah. there. All right. All right. Well, let's, let's do another, another round. Another round. Another round. Uh, so I hate to do this to you. I'm doubling down. This okay. is your second and uh, end of the Blancos from this lovely little flight. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, actually one of the most sought after tequilas in the United States right now. Oh. Uh, it's an experimental Blanco. So a lot of the time when uh, distilleries are putting out a specialty bottle, they usually age it for a very long time in a special kind of cask, and that's where their anniversary is. So uh, this is also at a much higher ABV, which means no water added at all. So it's going to be really rich in mouthfeel, but it is at 53%. So 13% higher than a normal Blanco. Uh, yeah, but I mean, this is awesome, awesome tequila. Uh, easily one of the most nerdy tequilas you can possibly find. Consumers weren't able to get it. So if you are going to get into a Blanco, if this isn't too uh, hot, as you will, for you, um, it's totally awesome. And uh, go your descriptors are making it very hard to determine which is most expensive. They all sound expensive with how you explain them. Uh -huh. well, the good oh news, my... we only have good tequila. Oh. But I also did this a little deliberately. So. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah it's but... very hard. Right. Well, cheers uh, to the good yeah. stuff. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Oh. That one's mezcali too. No, it's not. <laughs> Maybe it's the Blancos. The Blancos are giving mezcal. Woo. They want me to pass out today. <clears throat> okay, whoa. Woo. That one was rough. I didn't like that one. Either. I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> Ooh -wee. All right, anyway, so let's talk about dating. So like I want to talk about your love life. Are you dating? Are you single? What's your current relationship status? And keeping that information <laughs> private. <laughs> okay, can you tell us your type? Like, what's your ideal guy? If you're, you know, if the person you're praying for, like, what's your prayer if you could create the perfect person for you? You went there with the prayer, huh? <laughs> um... I prayed for men before. Okay. A man before. I prayed for a man before. I said, like, I went on a date. 
And I was like, okay, we had a good first date. And I was just like, Lord, I was driving like to see him again for the second date. And I was driving, 45 minute drive. And I was yeah. just like, Lord, if this is the man for me, like, please help me act right. And like, keep me here and like in this space. And it like, you know. Did you act right? I did. Okay. Um, so I have prayed for a man before, so I do believe in that. That okay. is a very real thing. I don't want to. Was he a good man? Absolutely. Okay. Um, I don't want to mock that ever. When people be like, "I need Sierra's prayer. I need the pr the prayer." That is powerful. It yeah. is super powerful and super valid and super true. Um, as far as my type of man, um, I like a man who is educated in different areas than I am so that we can kind of bounce ideas off of each other. I love, love, love to learn from a man. Um, I'm attracted to a man's smile. Um, and then I would say, not to be vain, but I mean, we all know I have a type. What's so, your type? I mean, my type is like, has a nice body. That's usually <laughs> how they come. Yeah. Um, and, um, I'm not gonna say what's better, but you know, like a, a, a chocolate man. It's uh, like, you know what I mean? Do you have like a celebrity crush or someone you just never, never give the time of day to? It's kind of like a two part question, I guess. No, but I do try to stay out of my DMs okay. because they're loaded. Okay. It goes um, down to the DMs. Your DMs are popping. They're popping. Okay. Who's the most famous person who's no. ever been in your DMs? No. We're not doing that. Wait. Can you give me a hint? No. Oh, no names. No. Okay. Profession. Nope. <laughs> but I try to stay out of there. Okay. Because just again, I'm not even that girl that's gonna be good via like typing. Yeah. Because I'm just too dry for that. You're gonna have to catch me in traffic and talk to me and like charm me and make me <laughs> tell me a joke and like yeah. make me chuckle or something because the DMs is not where I'm looking for anything at. So do you have a crush at the moment? Hmm. A crush? No, not really. I think that older white men in Hollywood are kind of hot. Okay. Older white men in Hollywood. Yeah. Okay, I hear that. All right, can I ask you, out of like maybe a couple eligible bachelors, just yes or no, if they were like, Drea, they wanted to take you out, <laughs> is, it, is it a yes or a no? Oh shoot, that's so funny. Okay. okay. This is like hypothetical. Hypothetical. All right. Michael B. Jordan. Hypothetical, he's an Aquarius. Uh-huh. We'd get we get along so well. We'd get along so well. So that's a yes. It's a hypothetically. It's a hypothetically we'd get along so well. Okay. It's, yeah. Uh Diddy. No way. That's family. <laughs> oh, okay. Family. Family. Drake. That's like that's like my twin. We're like this. Locked in, my friend forever. I've known him through his entire career and okay. him as well. Nah. If he was like, let's take our friendship to the next no. level. No, I'd be like, shut up, you're lying. <laughs> no. Uh, Nick Cannon. No. No. I like him, though. Yeah. He's nice. But no. Why no? Uh, he's got too many kids, and I just feel like he's not going to have time, you know? Yeah. For other women. Okay. I'm speaking on behalf of, like, other women considering dating a man with Multiple 27 kids. kids. <laughs> Future. Hmm. No. Taking serious or taking on a date? Having fun. I mean, Future's cool. Yeah. Like, he's a cool guy. Yeah. He's kind of lit. Um, so you'd have fun. Nothing serious. I mean, like, if, if, if I was single, like, you know, maybe yeah. I would let him take me on a date or something. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, my God, Future, take her on a date. That would be fun. But that's, like, if I was single. Yeah, you so know, you're not single. I don't know. It's <laughs> private. <laughs> okay, common. He's apparently a ladies' man. No. Common. No. No. Why? He's like a serial dater. No shade to Common, but yeah. like, he's done a lot. Okay. And it's very like, yeah. you know, it's very like, here, here, here. Yeah. Last one, Trey Songs. 
Oh, I love Trey Songz. Yeah, you guys would be cute. No, oh. just as a person. I love him as a person. Okay. Long time friend, but no. Okay, no. Dating now. All right, well, Max, bring, bring out the next tequila. All right, tell us about this one. Awesome, yeah, so this is a uh, architect uh, that went to become a tequila maker. He specializes in longer age statements that are normally associated with tequila aging. So people uh, love his Blancos, but typically lean more towards his extra Añejos. Great. But uh, really awesome stuff and definitely the uh, oldest tequila that you're going to be trying to Oh. Yeah, well, oldest in terms of time and barrel. Yeah, okay. Old. All Perfect. right. Well, cheers to the nerdy yeah. tequila. Yeah, right. Cheers. 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 Do you know? Do you know this? Do you know what you're talking about? Because you're giggling like you do. I don't know how to play this game anymore. <laughs> Is it getting cloudy? <laughs> it's getting Woo. a little, you know, I'm, getting a little not, cloudy. I'm not like a, a tequila um, snob. Like, I just be drinking and having a good time. Like, I... Well, are you paying attention? I'm paying attention. Because now you might be a tequila snob. You got the education and you got the yeah. flavors. You're, at the end of this, you're going to know what you like and what you don't like. All right. So you're a hot mom, a young mom, a cool mom, all the things. Because um, we were kind of just talking about dating. At what point do you know you've met someone you want to introduce to your kids? Hmm. I mean, I don't know if there's a timeline on that. Mm. But I do think that it's important and you really do know that person. Um, I mean, I would say the last time I introduced someone new to my kids, it was like probably like three months of dating them seriously. Okay. And do you like, you don't, you don't seem to post your kids on social media no. anymore. Is there a reason for that? Um, yeah, they're growing up. I mean, my oldest is growing up. He has his own life. Yeah. He's so cool and he's so lit. I love that. Um, I'm blocked on his stories. Oh, yeah, because he's so cool. You. He's so cool. Yeah. Um, he doesn't want mom to see what he's doing. How old but is he now? 20. Oh, okay. Um, oh my God, he's grown. Yeah. Grown. So he's really cool and he just kind of wants his own identity and I, I love that for him. Yeah. I think that's amazing for him, and I respect that. And I ask him to take pictures now. Like, I treat him with the same respect that I would want people to treat me. When they're like, hi, Dre, excuse me, can I get a picture? I'd be like, son, can we take a picture? And sometimes he'll be like, no. And sometimes he'll be like, okay. And then he'll be like, let me see it. You know, like, I'm very respective or respectable or whatever. Respectful. Respectful. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's damn tequila. I said two wrong words. <laughs> It's the tequila. Yeah, I'm very <laughs> respectful to his wishes. Yeah. And then my little one is just like, my little one is my little one. I post my little one on my story, but like just still pictures where they can like comment under as like a forum. Yeah. No, I'm not here for that. Yeah. So like what's the difference between raising your oldest back then and like raising your youngest? Like, you know, you're different times and places in your life, learn different things, like all these things. So what's been like the biggest change for you? No difference. Just, I mean, the social media aspect has been different. Social media wasn't around when my oldest was little. Um, but for the most part, I'm super blessed. Both of my kids were so good and well behaved. Um, I've had it really easy. Yeah. And so what's your like co-parenting relationship? Um, both of their fathers, I talk to both of them. We have a great, friendly, positive relationship, yeah. and yeah. Are you still in touch with like the twins? Because you yes. love those girls. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we just all went to Disney. Oh my god. Yeah, them are, uh, regardless of where they end up in life, those are my stepdaughters. Aww. In in any how whatever relationship I move to. Those yeah. are my stepdaughters. I, I was that. in their life till they were from they were three to eleven. So I was oh in their God. life for eight years. They're my stepdaughters. Yeah. You know, I love that. I've been in their life m longer than they've been alive. Yeah. So. Do you want any more kids, or are you done? Oh yeah, I want more kids. Like how many? Like like one. I think. So like the person you're dating, know. you you see like a future with them. I think the question you were asking me is if I wanted more kids, and I feel like I want 
more kids. And yeah. I feel like the relationship at mm -hmm. this point in my life, right? Yeah. The relationship is is amazing to have, right? But that's not what I'm basing having a kid on because right. I'm very non-traditional, and I feel like two people that love each other very much, or even that love each other very much as friends. I know there's these little things can co-parent. Yeah. I feel like you can co-parent without being in a relationship. Yeah, I could agree with that. Like you know, maybe just two people say, "Hey, you want a kid? I want a kid. Let's just have a kid, and like let's just really." See. So you would you yeah, would I'm do very that. like free spirit. I'm very open and just okay. so like what is that like conversation even? Like, I think you're great. You'd be a great dad. I think we'd raise good kids. Yeah, I think you're saying it all. So, and that, at that point, is it, like, for you, if you were to go in that direction, is it, like, an insemination, or do you do the do? I don't know. <laughs> you haven't thought that far I yet. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I do, I do think about, like, I see, like, all the celebrities having these surrogates and stuff, and I feel like that's... Like, I think about that a lot, you know? Like, do I do that? Is that an option for me? Like, is that something, is, that, is it affordable? I don't even know how much that costs. Um, and I don't know if you can just do it because you want to do it or if you have to have a medical condition. There's so many things about that that I don't know about. But I mean, it is interesting. Um, and obviously, I would always check with my doctor to make sure I'm fully healthy enough to carry a baby full term and all that. Yeah. And, you know, um, I don't take that off the table. Yeah. It's, you know, whatever. However, but you're open. However, basically. God and yeah. science sees it. Yeah. I'm with either yeah. one. Nice. I love that for you. So you, you were also like, I just thought about this, like one of like the OG it girls, like you know, in the IG time. Like, who do you think are some of like today's it girls? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, so I think Lori Harvey is just a doll. Okay, she is that girl right now. She's a doll. I mean, I love Selena and Haley both. Okay. Okay, equal. Love them both. I think they're both awesome. Um, I love Chloe and Hallie. They're, oh, they are precious. They are. They're sweet. I've been knowing them since they're little girls. They're raised right. They're, they're I, doing their thing. They're I, killing it hope they just keep on going yeah. um, because and they're role models okay so this is what I've always said like when I was growing up right we had Moesha to look at and yeah. she was a role model okay uh -huh. Randy <laughs> Randy you know how I feel about you girl Randy's my Aquarius sister yes. um, Moesha was iconic and she was positive and she was a great 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 role model nowadays these young girls look up to role models that are not necessarily role models they're like you know, oh, everything is like sex driven. Yeah. But I really do think Chloe and Hallie are good girls. Yeah. I feel like they're the modern day, like Moesha's. You can look up to them, they're yeah. safe. You know, and even though Chloe expresses her sexuality, yeah. it's still very clean and like natural. Classy. And like, yeah. yeah. So I love them. I love everything they represent. If I had daughters, I would like for my daughters to yeah. look towards them and. I would want my daughter to be fierce like Chloe and, yeah. and uninhibited like Chloe and sexy like Chloe. And then I would want her to be, you know, driven like Hallie and, and pure and sweet and innocent yeah. like Hallie. And, and they say Hallie's the thug of the two. Isn't that crazy? They're like, I can see it, but I'm like, oh my God, like when you like see them, Hallie seems like the innocent one, but when they've talked and like when she's like said things, they're like, oh, Hallie's the thug. I love them. Yeah. I love it. So are you, I don't know if you want to talk about this, but are you still friends with Kylie Jenner? Like, what happened there? No, nothing happened. Okay. Um, no, nothing happened. Okay. I love Kylie. She's great. Hot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kylie is, Kylie's definitely one of the young echoes. Definitely a trendsetter. Definitely a pioneer. Yeah. And, yeah, Kylie's a wave. I like Kylie. And I gotta know, because I don't know if you've ever talked about this, but you... You have an iconic phrase. I feel like you could delete your honus. Have you ever like explained like so? What does that mean? Yeah. I still stand on that. Yeah. Like I still confirm that because yeah, like you may have been a hoe back in your day. You may have slept around a bit, but like if you find that one, you're so no. So what makes it deleted? You just 
don't have to do it anymore. Yeah. After so much time, it goes away. Uh-huh. You know, like. So who do you think? Who would you say had? <laughs> who would you say deleted their hoagas? <laughs> to give an example mm, me I mean no like, I said it so I'm just gonna stay with me okay just let me have my answer okay I don't want to have to choose anyone else <laughs> can the wholeness come back if you delete it yeah and it can come so what sure. makes it come back just lifestyle in general okay. you can you could have never been a hoe and be a hoe late in your life yeah you could be a old hoe now like all of a sudden yeah. you know you never know. It's just it's different strokes for different folks. Different strokes for different folks. All right. Well, on that note, let's let's do our you know our final, final round. Woo! Because I'm getting round. wobbly on yeah, there. So-, so this is from a I would say kind of the king of ethical agave sourcing. So this gentleman is pioneering the kind of next wave of tequila in terms of uh, supporting the people behind it, what goes in the bottle, the whole added to fee movement. Uh, also, uh, incredibly sought after, of course. Um, and very, very limited. So this has. So everything is just sought after and limited. I figured it'd make it too easy if I yeah. just had some uh, broad statements. So, and also, I figured we'd treat you to some fun <laughs> since you're here. Okay. Uh, enjoy, and I'll see you in a few minutes for the grand reveal. All right, cool. awesome. Cheers. Cheers. I'm excited about this Cheers. one. I hope it's good. That's Biscali, too. I like that one. You like it? All right, so I want to finish us off with a little rapid fire. So, which public figure would you like to trade places with for a day and why? Britney Spears. Britney Spears, why? Um, Because I feel like if I could like step in for just like a day, uh-huh. I could like Fix her help life. stuff. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I like that. What's a question you wish you'd get asked but never is? What's my relationship with God? Well, what's your relationship with God? It's it's gotten better over the years. I was super faithless when I came into this industry, and I've gained so much now. Like I understand and believe that all of this is possible because there is a higher power. What's something no one agrees with you on? I don't know. I feel like I don't like showering at night. Mm-hmm. You're like, a morning shower? Yeah, I'm a Me morning too. shower. Oh, and I brush my teeth in the shower. Yeah. I have to. Yeah. I want to go <laughs> and like let the shower pour in my mouth. Showering at night charges me up and like yeah. makes me want to be like, nah, let me just put clothes on and go out. Yeah, okay. Well, if you came with the warning label, what would it say? Mislabeled. Mislabeled. It would say mislabeled. Okay. Uh, what's your hidden talent? I don't know. There's, I got a lot. I'm super flexible. Uh-huh. I feel like I know like... So much rap music. I can finish any <laughs> lyric, any line, any song. Yeah. Um, mm, that's it. I can hold my breath underwater for a really long time. Like, I'm a real a life time? mermaid. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What was your last Google search? You want to know? Yeah, Let me let's tell see. You. I got it. And no cheating. I won't cheat. Bam, there you go. How do you say every five years? And the answer is... Quinquennial. Why were you Googling that? I'm not telling you that, <laughs> but that was it. That's so random. Okay, so if you could leave a mark on the world, what would it be? Um, just believe in yourself and that women can do anything. Um, and, and also we can do multiple things. You don't have to just be one thing. You can yeah. be a nurse and a hairstylist. You can be... Um, you can do lashes and run a food truck. You can have a daycare center and whatever you want. Yeah. A dispensary. Who cares? You know, yeah. you can do multiple things. You don't have to just to stick with one career path. You can do a lot more than, than that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Drea, for stepping into the shader. I'm going to call Max over here to wrap us out. But, like, is there anything you want to plug? Anything you want to let the people know about? No, just thanks for supporting me over the years, you guys. I've grown with the shade room. Yes. I remember when you guys first started. Yeah. I first started. So, we're maturing. Yeah. We're growing yeah. up. Yeah. We're growing up so fast. <laughs> so, here's our lineup for tonight. Do we have a pick of a Wait. favorite? Wait. I have a pick of a favorite. Um, 
All right, I the got mine. The first mines. one was my favorite. First one? The first one was my favorite. All right, there we go. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, my favorite was the fifth one. The fifth really? one? Last one? There you go, perfect. So write one, two, three, four, five, and then write yeah. at one, was, three. Yeah, this was my favorite, but I would rank okay. it as third. Yeah. Okay, Third go most ahead. expensive? Um, I would say number three was the most expensive. Number three was the most expensive? Okay. And this one was third. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Write it down, because I got mine written down, and you're not about to switch it up on I'm me. Not uh -uh. I'm literally looking at it. I know how to play games. I'm literally, I put dollar signs. Oh, so did I. <laughs> oh my God. I put dollar signs. So, so did I. Okay, I'm not switching anything up. So I think number three was the most expensive. Number five, the second most expensive. I mean, number one, third most expensive. Um, Number two, actually number two might be the most expensive. <laughs> But I'll put it at the fourth and put number four as the least expensive. I think number two is the most expensive. Number two? All right. She yeah. thinks number two is the most expensive. All right, I'll take it. I but think I number, number five is the most expensive. Number five? All right, cool. Are these your final answers? No swapping? Let's just go the most expensive. I have number five. You have number? Number three or two? No, oh, you said yeah. two. All right, we'll take number three. These okay. are final answers? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to start with the least expensive. We're going to okay. move your way up, okay? The least expensive is number two. This is the Eco Spirits. So this is a new uh, container that they're shipping for bars that are refillable. So okay. our well tequila will be shipped in this, the ones that go into the majority of cocktails. It gets refilled and then put into bottles here where we make cocktails. I love the environment, but I hate the idea of this. Well, you won't see these guests facing. Don't worry. What is this called? Uh, so this is... Los Arcos. Which one did you say was most expensive? You said five. Number five. Okay. There you go. Los what? Uh, Los Arcos. So okay. the second uh, most ex uh, least expensive, rather, would be our House El Tesoro. So El Tesoro Reposado. Okay. That was my favorite one. one. Which yeah. is which one? Uh, number one. Least expensive. Least expensive. Second least. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Second least expensive. Yes. So then third uh, least expensive is going to be the Cascoline, which is the one you chose here. As the most expensive? Uh, third least expensive. So, so that one's third. So third so is third. First, second, and third. Uh, number four is going to be the Lydia, which you chose as your top most expensive. So which one is the most expensive? Uh, so the most expensive is going to be the Fuente Seca here. That which was the is? This one? is an 18-year-old extra añejo, and two ounces is $150. So a standard pour at a bar is wow. $150. So uh, which number was that, five? Uh, that'd be number four. So number four was the winner. So no one got that one correct, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do we decide a winner? Yeah. So it's a tie? What was like least expensive one? I feel like I guessed the least expensive uh, one. Number two is the least. I could tell the least expensive one, so I win. Barely. And I want to know, because it's a T question, right? <laughs> when was the last time you had sex and did you come? For real, not for fake. Oh my God, Drea! My mother is watching. Well. Um, it's a tea, so don't lie. Mama, close your eyes. <laughs> um, In your ears. <laughs> I have my co-workers here. Hopefully this is not an HR violation. <laughs> um, last month, and yes. Last month? What was That was just three, three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago. Girl. Oh, that was so invasive. Well, I like it. That was a good You were going to do me, so I did you. <laughs> this was so much fun. Thank you so much, Drea, for stepping into the shade room. Um, I had a blast with you. It was a lot of fun. I had so much fun. Cheers. Fun. Cheers. Thank you so much for having me. Yes! Hey roommates, if you want to see more celebs stepping into the shade room, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here.